So one of the sessions later today here at Web Summit 2015 is around the area of fashion and selling fashion online. And I'm, to talk more about that, I suppose I'm joined by Robert Gens, who is the uh, co-founder and CEO of the uh, online fashion retailer Zalando, which is based in, in Germany, uh, and which announced it was opening an office in Dublin uh, earlier this year with plans to hire 200 people. I suppose, first of all, Robert, if you could explain to us, a bit, uh, particularly for those who may not be familiar with Zalando at this stage, what it is that you do and how you do it. Uh, so yeah, we, we're the biggest online fashion platform in Europe, so we, we uh, found a company seven years ago um, and by today we have about uh, 16 million active customers and we're, we're, we're selling in 15 European countries and we, last year we did like 2.2 billion in revenues and uh, pretty, pretty strong growth uh, still ahead. Yeah? What, what do you put that growth down to? I mean it really is pretty dramatic growth in this particular space. Well actually I would, I would, I would still say it's uh, kind of small if you think about like the European fashion market is about 400 billion. And we have like you know 0.7 percent market share, so you know it's uh, still like a tiny, tiny puzzle piece in the in the European fashion market. And um, how big a role is the whole area of data analytics playing in your business, and how does that work, I suppose? Well, they, you know, in, in the in the fashion um, in the fashion space, at, in the online fashion space, data is like at the at the heart of everything. Yeah? So we we uh, we use data to you know to personalize the website. We use data to. To predict trends, we use data to, you know, to to, to do demand forecasts. So data is pretty much at the heart, and, and I think like the the main reason why, why you can be a lot more efficient in online retailing than in you know, than offline retailing at the end. And um, do you plan at some stage to take what you've learned about the fashion industry using this kind of data analytics approach and applying it to other areas of, of retailing online? Do you think you, you potentially could do that down the line? Well, we believe that that the fashion space is, you know, it's such a such a massive uh, massive market opportunity as well as today. Um, so we, you know, we rather stick to fashion and go deeper into fashion and, you know, um, try to try to solve bigger problems as well in fashion. And we wouldn't really, you know, go into other spaces as, you know, selling washing machines or something else. So uh, so they, so fashion is really at the heart of the company and will it will always be. Yeah? But you're, I suppose, developing a platform as much as being a retailer and do you think that that platform structure could equally apply to other businesses? Um, potentially it could um, but but the the platform that we so the challenge that we see like in, in fashion is, is, is so different kind of kind of challenges that you that you see like you know the, the, the entire does it fit does it not fit like the emotional piece about fashion so so the the challenges they are kind of very specific to what's fashion and these are the challenges that we're they were trying to, to, to cope with and, um, and then uh, obviously you, you know you, you have these challenges but in, in other lifestyle categories but you don't have really these challenges like in you know in electronics or something like that so so lifestyle and fashion is really like the you know the, the, the piece that we concentrate on and do you envisage that down the line uh, the likes of virtual reality and augmented reality will start playing a role in the, the kind of business that you're you're in uh, potentially yes but I think you know, in the next uh, Four to five years, I think there are, there are different kind of challenges ahead than virtual reality, but um, uh, for uh, for the fashion uh, space, but but potentially yes, yeah, at some at some point in time, I think it makes sense. Yeah. Um, security is such a big issue now, with so many examples of hacking. Even in the last year, we've had lots of examples. Is security something that is top of your agenda? Is it something that worries you, keeps you awake at night? It, it ov uh, obviously it is. Yeah. So since consumer trust uh, trust us with with, uh, um, with their data, so obviously you know we are. We're very concerned about you know everything that's around security. We have a huge team deployed that you know that's only you know coping coping with security issues and make sure that you know everything that is with us is safe is safe with us. Do you think that the recent issues around safe harbor and the, the transfer of data from Europe to the U.S. do you think that will help European-based companies like yourselves, people perhaps thinking that they're, they're better giving their data and giving their their time and their money to to a company that's not shipping their data back to the U.S. Um, I, I think you know. So obviously, we you know we, we um, you know we were very aware of these uh, these decisions, that, and we're now you know trying to figure out like you know what what it actually means for us, what it means for our partners that we work with, yeah, and how we can you know apply these uh, these, uh, these, uh, these 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 topics to to our company. So um, so if it if it will help in the end, uh, well we see. But uh, I think it's uh, still quite early to, to figure out what it, what it actually means for us. Yeah? Um, you, as I say, you chose Dublin as, as a, a, a place to base yourselves earlier this year. How yeah. is that 
growth of that office working out? Um, are you having are you able to get the people and the talent that you need to, to fill out that uh, that office? Yeah, we so we opened like in in uh, in, um, in April this office in here in Dublin. Uh, so data so data center, a fashion fashion insight center. Uh, why? Because uh, we actually saw it in Dublin. There's lots of good, good talents. There's amazing talent, especially in data, data scientist piece here, um, uh, uh, here, um, here in Ireland. And we are, you know, we're we're very um, uh, we're very satisfied with the growth. So we are, we now have about 25 people already in the office. So big, big talent that we uh, that we have in here. So we are very, very happy with about our decision that we took. Mm -hmm. um, overall, do you think uh, I suppose there's some talk at the moment about the tech market being overvalued and a, a bubble again? Do you think there's any truth to that at all, or do you think it's just confined to certain areas, maybe certain companies? I would, um, yeah. I would say, you know, I would say, like in general, like the digitalization of the world is, you know, is uh, is, is happening. So, and that, uh, the, and it will dramatically change the way the way of how we live in the next uh, five years. In our sector, especially, which I, you know, I'm. I'm uh, I know the best in, in, in terms of fashion sector. I believe in the next five to ten years, it will be. I think it will all be different. The only thing that will stay the same is that we won't uh, run around uh, naked here, here. But I think all the rest will change. So, um, so I think there's. Um, uh, I think there's a. It's, it's right that there's lots of focus now on the on, on, on commerce, on digitalization, on, on, on online. Uh, probably some companies are overvalued, some not. But I'm I'm not I'm not very uh, good to tell if you know if, if this applies to which company. And finally, just away from the tech and looking more at the fashion, what's yeah. what's big this season? What's big this season? Yeah. Oh well, it, you know, it, it depends on the it depends on the uh, uh, it depends pretty much uh, uh, pretty much on the market. So actually, you can't really say like you know which uh, which kind you know there's not one European trend. So in each of these uh, countries, there's like different kinds of uh, kind of trends that we that we cope with. Yeah. Well, excellent. Thank you very much indeed for your time, Robert Gens, and uh, no doubt Zalando is a firm we're going to hear a lot more about over the coming years.